Turning now to Capitol Hill, where House Republicans are holding a public hearing featuring two IRS whistleblowers who claim the Justice Department interfered with a tax investigation into Hunter Biden. News Nation's Joe Khalil is live in Washington for us tonight, where he's following the hearing closely. And Joe, one of those whistleblowers was previously anonymous. He's speaking publicly today for the first time. What is he saying? Yeah, it was really interesting. His identity totally kept secret before that hearing started. So his name is Joseph Ziegler. He's a special agent with the IRS who was working on the Hunter Biden case. Uh, by the way, interestingly, when he made his opening statement, he made clear, volunteered the information that he is a Democrat who is gay and has a husband. And he said that he volunteered that information forward to make clear this is not a partisan exercise for him. His claims largely mirrored uh, the first whistleblower, whose name we did know, Gary Shapley, in that they say they were in the room, they had a front row seat, and they felt like the Department of Justice was interfering in some ways in the prosecution of Hunter Biden, slow walking the investigation in some cases. They said that they didn't feel that the prosecutors had all the freedom to go down every avenue that they wanted to go. And they said that the U.S. attorney, David Weiss, who's supposed to be making all the big decisions, was not actually doing that. They feel some of the major decisions, like what you charge Hunter Biden with, came from even above the head of Mr. Weiss. Here's a bit of what we heard from that hearing room. As the special agent on this case, I thought the felony charges were well supported. The decision to bring felony counts against Hunter Biden was agreed to by both prosecutors and investigators. Despite these facts, the plea deal that is being dis that is being discussed occurred. And obviously, uh, a number of Democrats on that committee and at the White House I spoke with today, Elizabeth, really pushing back on that narrative. U.S. Attorney David Weiss, who was appointed by former President Trump to investigate Hunter Biden, Weiss has insisted that he had ultimate authority in this case to decide when, where, and whether to f file charges. So he's saying it's completely the opposite of what these two whistleblowers are alleging. How does the investigation move past the he said, he said aspect? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. A lot of these are just claims, Elizabeth. And what you've just laid out is exactly the problem that Republicans are going to have uh, with their story and with these claims. Because you have these whistleblowers saying David Weiss's hands were tied by the Department of Justice. But then you've got David Weiss, who's a pretty important person in that allegation, right, saying that's not true. He says that he had full freedom to prosecute the case as he saw fit. He says that nobody influenced him, that none of the decisions made with respect to Hunter Biden were done for any political reasons at all. And Democrats have been quick to point that out today. I want to point to one uh, soundbite that we got from Jamie Raskin today, top Democrat on the committee, who not only pointed to David Weiss and his own claims, but also to the fact that so far President Biden and Merrick Garland say they've been completely independent of this case. And that's something that Raskin says should be taken seriously. When he became president, not only did he not use his power to halt the investigation, he kept in place Trump's hand-picked U.S. attorney, Mr. Weiss, overseeing it, even though incoming presidents usually replace U.S. attorneys with their own appointees. And uh, Elizabeth, one thing I heard from some Democrats today, those with legal backgrounds, is they say that when you're bringing charges against anyone, especially someone as high profile as Hunter Biden, a lot goes into that decision. It's not just do we have the evidence in front of us to bring a felony charge, but they've got to consider are the witnesses solid? Are there any holes in this case? If it were to go to trial, is it rock solid 100 percent? So they think that a lot of these whistleblower claims may be true or accurate, but just one part of the story missing important context here. That's what I heard from Democrats today, both on the committee and from the White House. All right. I'm sure we'll hear more uh, as it develops since we have two people saying two diametrically opposite things. Joe Khalil, thanks for wrapping all yeah. that up for us today from Capitol Hill. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.